Stop undressing modestly. I'm gonna tell you guys the honest truth about this, okay? If I go to the beach, I'm wearing a swimsuit. I real I'm wearing a swimsuit. I, I think that modesty like is something that you should hold. I think that people like you can't you're not called to judge other people because like God convicts people in different ways too. It even says like in the Bible, like one person can eat meat and not feel bad about it. But if someone else is convicted about it, then it is a sin for them to eat it because they have a conviction about it, but it's not for the person that doesn't feel that conviction. Like but I do think that the Bible calls us to be modest and I'm gonna be honest, like if you have boobs, then sometimes when you wear certain types of like sports bra tops or things like that, like it's it's not that you're not trying to be modest, it's just like sometimes like that's something that you deal with is like your cleavage shows, okay? And it's the way that you hold yourself and what your heart is behind it that like I think reflects through the clothes that you wear also. So I feel like people are just constantly looking for like reasons to like cancel, especially like other girls or things like that. Like, oh my gosh, you plan to love God, but you're not modest. But truly, like, it just depends on like, okay, but how is the girl holding herself? Like, is she intentionally trying to show things off, trying to get people's attention like that, cause people to stumble? Or is it like the way her body is built and she like can't help that? You know what I mean? So it's just like, it's a heart posture thing, but the Bible does call us to be modest. So, yeah. Anyway, I know it's a controversial subject. Um, and, like, my heart is to not not be modest. Like, I am always thinking about that stuff. But sometimes, like, I'll literally post, like, I'll go to the gym and I'll post in one of those, like, tops like this, right? Or, like, this much of my stomach will be showing or something like that. And people, like, just are so judgmental they try to cancel you like it's just so it's honestly so annoying the truth is you're never going to please people that's why you got to know what god says and you know that you're held accountable to him and that's it period it's true you're never going to be like people's opinions when i realized this y'all it absolutely changed my life also some of y'all are following me right now that means the world but when i realized that people's opinions of me i was such a big people pleaser when i realized people's opinions of me are we're, we're going to change forever I was never going to be able to please everyone, but God's opinion of me is always going to be the same jewel with the butterflies. And the only one that I have to please is him. It was so freeing to me because literally I just worried about like, am I walking in what God's called me to do? Am I honoring him with the way I live? And if anybody else thinks anything different, I really don't give a crap because I don't, I don't held accountable to them. I'm held accountable to him when I die. <laughs> There's some people, though, like, that God places in your life, like, my parents are them, or, like, my best friend, my brother, Austin, like, people that, like, love you and care about you, that you trust, like, can speak into your life, and I believe that it's good, like, wisdom and protection. So you can't just write it off everyone, because sometimes you can't see things when you're going through them. People can see them, like, from the outside better, but you just have to discern things, you know?